All right, you guys, good morning. It's early. It's still dark here, as you can see. <laughs> so I hope that the lighting is okay, you guys. Uh, this is an interesting read. Okay. So I went to bed early last night, and I got up late this morning, late for me and early for me uh, last night. When I got up, I saw that I had some mail um, from Rumble, where a couple of people had said something. So I just grabbed some coffee and I checked my mail. One person, Eric, had said, check out all the, check out the debt clock now. Now, I, I was nowhere near my phone and, and I didn't see that message come in last night, obviously. Um, and the other person said that, um, they had been told something was going to happen over a three hour period on the U.S. debt clock. And so they hung around to see. And so apparently Eastern time, which would be um, from 9 p.m. Eastern time to 12 a.m. Eastern time last night. OK, so that was October 1st, you guys, 10-1. There was something on the debt clock that said, in quotes, and Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers. And that was apparently on the U.S. debt clock for three hours. From 9 p.m. Eastern time to 12 a.m. Eastern time. I didn't see it personally. I didn't see it. I, I was in bed. Um, and so anyways, they had said that, I don't know where they were looking, but somebody had said that the gematria on that was the, the switch, switch flipped. That's what it comes to. Switch flipped. So this morning, I just, this is my notes. <laughs> so this morning, I just asked for a true story, you guys. I went about the business of, of setting all of my intentions and making my decrees. While I was at it, obviously, you folks, the healing intentions is set for you folks. So if you want them, stand in your power and decree that for your greatest and highest good, only and always. Um, but let's, let's, let's start the reading and tell you what I found here. The true story about the debt clock, okay? So the first thing I want you guys to see is that... Uh, it says justice was served. Don't worry. Justice was served. So the U.S. debt clock, the true story around what I was asking about, which was what happened on the debt clock between 9 p.m. Eastern time and 12 a.m. Eastern time. The quote where Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all of them that sold and bought in the temple and overthrew the tables of the money changers. I wanted to know a true story on this. And I got justice that is serving as the answer to that question, you guys. Okay? And then above that, don't worry. Justice came in. Justice has been served. Don't worry. So I asked if I got that right. Okay? I broke this down quite a bit, this reading. So I asked if I got that right, and I got the death card, which is a higher arcana card, you guys. So that would be a yes, but there's more to it with that, right? So I said, all right, so you're saying justice has been served. Don't worry. That system went through a death and a rebirth last night. Is that correct? And then I got temperance. Another yes. Great change happened. <clears throat> all right, so let's go across from that. Now we have the sovereign tree card, right? Sovereign tree, she's independently sovereign. She has all that she needs. And miracles taking place, okay? And don't forget that star there. That's 17. So, I read that, okay? I said, so you're saying that sovereign tree, sovereign tree and, you know, wealth and dependence <clears throat> has just seen a miracle occur, okay? And so I asked if I got that correct. And I got the Page of Swords, which is something new, right? Something new and fresh. So I knew that there was more to that, you guys. All right. So I asked him to tell me the rest of the story. So a fresh, a fresh technology came in. The old system crashed 
and happily ended. So I asked if I got that right, and I got the high priestess, so that would be my yes. Now, moving up, moving up here, I got the chariot. So moving forward, this is the energy, the pathway, okay, to this question. So moving forward, those that suffer will be focused on. And I asked if I got that right. In other words, you know, the people that have been pillaged, the people kept down from these systems, right? Because this is a church, they have plenty. But these people will walk on by the church because in, they'd rather be cold and hungry and desolate than go inside this church and have to give up what it is that they believe to be able to seek shelter there. So it's about these systems that oppress these people, right? So moving forward, people that have been oppressed and made to suffer will be hyper-focused on. And I asked if I got that right, and I got that people have been moved out of troubled water, right? So there's more to that, right? So I asked, let me come around, <laughs> get in here, his shadow is sorry, you guys. So I asked to go ahead and give me more on that, and what I got was the strategic card, okay, strategies, to get us over the hump, done by the good guys, so hang on, hang on. All right, so this is where they get just a little bit chatty. So I read that, so there have been strategies that were taken and implemented, right, to get us over the hump, higher I can a card, done by the good guys, so we just got to hold on. So I was like, all right, so clearly there's more, okay. So over here we got works being done. Just got to sit tight just a little longer with that hanged man, right? Got to sit tight a little longer. Things have been bound to bring in new gifts. So work was done. Okay, so you can look at it this way too. Work was done to put some things in limbo and bind them to bring us in new gifts. So then I went back and I read all of this, right? I went back and I said, all right, so moving forward, um, people who have been oppressed by the systems will be hyper-focused on, will be moved out of troubled water. Strategies were taken and put in place to get us over the hump by the good guys. We've got to hold on a little longer. Work is being done to put some things in limbo and bind them before the gifts come in. Did I get that correct? And I got the yes, ace of wands, okay? So then I said... All right, so is there anything that you want us to focus on as we end this reading, you guys? So I asked if they had anything they wanted us to focus on. And this is what they want us to focus on. They want us to focus on new beginnings in that earthly, ple uh, earthly pleasures section, in that money section. Focus on the new beginnings. That's what they want us to do. So strategies were implemented to get us over this hump by the good guys. So we just got to hold on, a little more work being done to put some things in limbo, bind that old way of being and bring in the new gifts. Yes, get that right. Last night, justice happened on that debt clock. So what you saw was justice. So don't worry. We went through a death and a rebirth. Uh, great change is being made. Okay. Sovereign tree is being restored, right? Miracles are happening there. Sovereign tree is being restored. A new system has come in. The old system has crashed and happily ended. Yes, all right? So <clears throat> that's what I'm getting anyways. And then they want us to focus on this. So that's what I'm getting, you guys. And I just wanted to share it with you all. Uh, I hope that you found a little value in this. Um, I've used quite a few cards, and I don't have my other deck out here. But, um, geez, I should have asked how much longer we have to wait before we really start seeing this independently. I've got, like, that many cards left. Let me just see if they'll give us um, with one card. I'm telling my guides that because I've already used too many. With one card, can you just give us an idea, you guys, of... How much longer we have to wait before we actually really see some significant change. Because I'm telling you, the cost of living is, is terrible. 
And I've just had two people in the last week, three people in the last week, tell me about the price of their rent, and they don't know how they're going to do it through the winter months. Somebody I love very much came and talked to me yesterday, told me that they were just notified that their rent is increasing. I mean, this is like, <laughs> it's a big deal. You know what I mean, you guys? It's just really hard on people, and it's just really upsetting because those of us that want to help, don't really have the means to help. You know what I'm saying? It's just uh, it's so frustrating right now. Everybody's just in survival mode. Um, so I'm asking, with one card, can you give us a little bit of an idea how much longer we're going to have to wait, as you say, there's some work done, being done, you know, to hold on. How much longer before we're going to start really seeing the world over these changes? When are we going to start seeing these changes, you guys? So I'm going to cut them in half one more time. And I'll go back and do three again. Can you give us an idea of how much longer? Just a little idea. Come down into our time and sort of give us an idea how much longer. Seven. Seven, breaking new ground, groundwork's done, breaking new ground. They want us to focus on that new beginning, remember? I feel like there's more to this. Breaking new ground. Seven. Breaking new ground with abundance the world over. Groundwork's done, breaking new ground. With those wands, could be seven seconds. <laughs> Could be seven minutes, could be seven hours, could be seven days, could be seven weeks, could be seven months. Let's hope it's seven seconds. So, yeah, breaking new ground, groundwork's done, bringing in abundance the world over, you guys. So, anyway, that's what I'm getting. Um... I would have loved to have seen an ace pop up, <laughs> the ace of the ace of swords, but um, most of the groundwork's done. About to put that new rod down into the ground. Uh, abundance, abundance the world over. Getting us out of this old system, moving forward, being hyper focused on, moving us out of troubled water. So anyway, that's what I'm getting, you guys. Focus on that new system there that I just covered up. Sorry, but focus on that. Uh, stay positive. Stay in that love vibration, you guys. And um, until next time, I'm sending you many, many blessings and much, much love. All right, take care.